Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 7 Career Mode. Part number three, we're going to be wrapping up the, the modified stuff and then uh, get our truck series debut and all that stuff situated with the, the team, and then we'll probably do two races in that, so. Action packed part, so to speak, so to freshen everyone's memory, we're destroying the modifies. We have, I think, nine wins if we go to a race shop and look at our modified stuff. This is something I haven't shown you, but this is what it looks like. So yay, nine wins, a lot of st good stuff. It's it's gross. So, um, with all that out of the way, we're going to try to sweep out the rest of the season. So we got IRP, which we have, uh, have not raced here before, other than our truck testing thing, but not in the modified. So that'll be kind of interesting, maybe. I don't know, but we'll get in the qualifying and see where we start. Three, three and four on our first lap. That's going to be a very simple pull, so no problem there. It does seem like we uh, basically can run the middle and they kind of dip the car under the the second groove, and that seems to work out. So it it looks you know it all looks good. We just got to get through the first corner, and oh wow, it put us in fourth gear right away. Well, that's not good. We're going to probably lose the lead right away. Or. Wow, I'm actually shocked. I thought for sure I was going to lose the lead right away, because usually that kind of happens. The game puts us in a really, like, shitty gear on the start, but that didn't happen. So, um, all right, well, Violet has see you later field. White flags out. No contest, no competition. It's been very chill. The tires have been wearing, but it hasn't really affected us all too much. It really hasn't changed anything. So, just back up the corner just a little bit more. But through three and four, there you go. See, you finally got worn. Didn't hit the wall. And that's another win. So that's ten wins out of the 14 races this season. Yeah, that's... God damn. We get all our skill points, all the usual, you know, stuff. So, I I don't know. But we only have two more races left. I just hope we get a good enough truck ride, though. Because I think this is like a 70% like prestige kind of car. So I'm hoping we can get somewhere close to that in the truck series. That would be nice, but... I don't know. Just I'm just I'm just thinking out loud. <clears throat> no new phone calls, so that's good. We can just go straight to New Hampshire, which we won there the first time, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem this time around, so Let's go in the qualifying again and try to sweep New Hampshire this season. Hey, your prestige went up again. I just noticed that. The bar is, like, more to the right. Through three and four, our first lap we got fifth. This one, it's got to be close to a pull. Still lacking a little bit on the straights, but the corners are really good. And that's a pull. Hooray. Same setup and stuff as usual. Nothing, nothing different there. So, about, about a little bit over a tenth. Uh, on the pole there, I just noticed. Hooray, it put us in a normal gear. See what happens when the game just puts me in a, in a gear that's, like, human? I have a human start. That was not so much of a human corner. I almost threw it all away, but we still have the lead, so... Might be pull away time? I'm gonna give it two more corners. It seems like they're really... You know, they're, they're, they're trying their best. All right. I think we'll be okay. I'm just gonna go into sweat mode and wait until something happens. We're pulling away ever so slightly. It's been decently competitive compared to normal. So, I had it been on my toes a little bit. But we okay. Pulling away, all that's good stuff. Also, I forgot to mention that. In the modifieds, New Hampshire is a very uh, prestigious race. So, it do it actually would be nice to win here because it is a, uh, it's the modified Daytona 500 in, in layman's terms. White flags out, and it seems like we're doing okay. Two and a half second lead. It's a pretty simple race, all things considered. So now the only question is, can we win a Dodge Raceway? Because we <laughs> didn't do well there the last time, so it would be nice to redeem ourselves and pull it off there. But I, I need to start on the inside line. That would be like the most ideal kind of situation. Either way, this race is done. <laughs> I. It, 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 was, it was nice. It was a nice relaxation. More skill points, more good things. Thank you, Allstate. All the usual um, good stuff. Also, the, the Travis Haley has been... I was going to say very consistent, but then... It's not in the top five, so... 
Never mind, it's 10th. <laughs> Alright, so what what does our hero stuff look like? Is it okay? Let's know. Is it good stuff? 1300, okay. 16,000 fans earned, hooray. Ooh, I think that we got another test session. Thank you, Rising Dragon. I, I appreciate that. Ooh, okay. This is good. We need that. We need that support. Ooh, and it's at Texas. We can pull it off. We can absolutely pull it off. So, screw it. Let's <laughs> let's jump into it. See if we can get a better truck ride offer. I don't know what the team is. What is it going to be? It'll tell it in the loading screen. But we have to wait through the. <laughs> Damn, I forgot the the sim race stuff. Jimmy Belt Compressors, our sponsor, wants an upcoming driver for its craft truck series. All right, we think you you're it. Prove it. Why I said that and read that all wrong. So twenty nine five. Is that even possible? I I don't know. I would like to hope so, so I can get a better offer. Homestead didn't work, so I'd like to go two for three if I can help it. So, like usual, we have an outlap. That's a really funky looking color car, but I'll take it. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll uh, do my outlap and get into it when the next lap comes by. So my brain was so stupid, I was trying to focus because I had to let up the throttle a lot more than I thought. <laughs> And I was just I was just focusing. I got through turns one and two right, but three and four was awful. So this is definitely not going to be a good representation of the first lap. Thirty. Oh, oh my God! I'm half a tenth off. Oh, it's going to be close if I can actually pull it off. If I can get through three and four a lot better, I can gain a couple tenths that way. But this is looking to be another like insanely close type of thing to actually get. Let me just back up the corner a little more. That's way better, but I'm still not on the bottom lane like I should. But it's kind of hard to be... <laughs> I gotta be careful because, you know, if I touch it, I'm gonna spin and, you know, turn into a, you know, freaking fidget spinner. So all that, you know, typical shit. <sighs> Three tenths off, though. God damn it. I'm just... I gotta... I gotta get to the bottom lane a little bit better. And I don't. <laughs> God damn it. Well, it doesn't help, too, that I don't have, like, a custom setup in. So... Just kind of running with the default setup. So that kind of hurts. I'm not going to probably accomplish this. I'm going to be really fucking upset. Well, this time should be better than the last one, but that's not saying much because we hit the wall. 29 and I'm still three tenths off. I don't know what more I can... I can get to the bottom lane a little bit better, but I don't think that's going to gain me three tenths. I think I'm just going to be stuck with whatever that truck offer is unless I get something in the off season. I mean, it's not looking good. So this, this sucks. But yeah, with assist, it's definitely a lot harder. So hooray for the game. Through three and four, it's not going to probably be any better. I don't think so. Ace is going to berate me, talk about his girlfriend, other nonsense. I, that was too, ah, that was too tense off. Ace is going to be freaking talking about his girlfriend and shit with me. I, 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 why? I don't, ah. Hey, what's going on, bud? Wanted to touch base with you and find out what happened at that test session. Because I'm getting kind of a lukewarm reaction from these guys. I'm, you know, wondering what happened. Maybe we can set you up with something else. I don't know. But give Ace a call, would you? Wow. He didn't actually, like, bring up his girlfriend in the conversation for God knows what reason the first time. Well, that's disappointing. I really wanted to, you know, do something, but I couldn't, so. On a Dodge Raceway and... See if we can, you know, redeem ourselves and win there, unlike we did in the spring. All right, I think I figured out the. Oh wow, that's second. The ticker didn't even move at all that time, so I really thought I had the pull. I was gonna say I found out the magic solution. It was just lowering the wedge a little bit. Is that gonna be a pull? Is that okay? Okay, that's that's better. All right, well, we're gonna have the inside line, so maybe we won't die. So yeah, the only thing I changed was just the wedge. I just bumped it down from a half round up to just 0, 0.0. That was it, so. Hopefully we just have a decent start. Not have a start in like fourth gear, and then we'd be okay. Third gear is still not optimal, but that's still better than fourth. And we kept it on the bottom lane. It's a fourth. And? 
I think we're gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. Never mind. Never mind. Smoke too soon. Against the bomb lane. Nope. Alright, well, you know, I'll just go fuck myself. And Fox is upset. Ow, ow. <sighs> happened again. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it happened again. I fucking hate this trick. So stupid. Alright, well, goodbye our race. Goodbye any chance of <laughs> redeeming ourselves. So we almost the entirety of the race, but we caught back up to the you know, uh, back of the field. That just sucks. I don't know why, like, that situation even happened to begin with. I, I don't know. I think it's just because I'm afraid to hit the fucking brakes because I don't know what the car is going to do. But now I'm able to do it and now it's just fine, so. What a what a tragedy. And I'm going to end up 17. So that's actually worse than what I did the first time. What? That's the most... Uh, I don't know. It's just move on the trucks and hope we get a better ride or something. I don't know. I, I, I'm not optimistic, unfortunately. Because it doesn't seem like we're going to have any good chance to get a decent ride. And, I mean, hey, we... Alright, all right. is the guy going to do the weird shit in the background again? Is that a, Yep, there. Yep, I see it. I see it. He got my guy blocked, but I see it. And we just belly-butted our teammate. That was, that was hot. I can just imagine a scenario. Like... A team's interested in looking at, like, uh, you know, hiring me for a truck ride. And then they see that last race result. And it just, like, just leaves such a horrible impression on him for the whole season. <laughs> whole off season. Because, like, look at this dumbass. <laughs> Eric Darnell won the 2006 Craftsman Truck Series by 12 points over Timothy Peters. Damn, that was close. Greg Biffle. Good for him. 41 points, and, ooh, Jimmy Johnson, oh my god, Toxic's gonna be so excited, because Jimmy won the championship like he did in real life in the video game world, yay. By 11 points, though, damn, all, all of them were pretty close, except for me. <laughs> well, except for me. Oh, Mark! Oh, Mark retired. And Dale Jarrett, too, and he got replaced by Herman Foster, but no one's replacing Mark! Oh, that would be amazing if I can get that ride, but I don't think it's going to work out that way. But, oh, that's awful. Holy shit, 12 phone calls. Good God. Thank you, Ace. I, I know, I could buy a team. I, I don't care. I don't even think I have enough money for that yet. Wow, we have a lot of contract offers. Good, good Lord. Hey, it's Ace, and you've got a championship under your belt. I knew you had it in you, buddy. Congratulations. Well, I'm upset, Ace. That was a really, really sad message. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Now, I know I'm not telling you anything you don't already know when I say that there's going to be some racers retiring at the end of the season. And you know what? Old Ace is working to get you into their rides. So keep your prestige up, and we will be ready to go. Thank you, Ace. I don't know if I'll ever be in a position to get the number six car. If I could, that would be friggin' awesome. Hey, you know, Ace has been doing some research, and, uh... I've noticed there's a lot of big-name drivers retiring these days. So, uh, keep your prestige rating up. Maybe old Ace can slip you right into one of their rides. It's only two, Ace. It's only two. Don't, don't make a mountain out of a molehill, alright? It's only two. Hey, it is Ace Moneymaker, and you are making money hand over fist thanks to your boy Ace. More contract offers are available at the race shop, so why don't you go over there? I believe the kids call it Bling Bling. Oh, you can afford a whole lot more of it now, baby. Ace, that is... Uh, product of its time. <laughs> Freaking blink. Oh, my God. Oh, that was cr That was probably cringy in 2006, too. Oh. Uh, no, I wanted to hear what he said. I thought it would be the... I thought it would be something... Hey, hey, what is up, you old goat? Ace Moneymaker, and I'm curious if you are ready to start racing for a new team, because I have contract offers coming in from all angles, baby. Go to the race shop. Check them out. I gotta say, I'm kind of impressed that there's different voice messages that aren't the same. Wow, imagine that. Nasker He5 can take some notes on this game. Hey, what's going on, man? I, I gotta ask, has Ace ever done anything other than show you complete and total love? No. That's not what I'm feeling. <laughs> you were shitting on me because I didn't get the, the thing before with the, the girlfriend talk. Remember that? You... Shut up, Ace. God forbid I... I... <laughs> Hey, what's going on, buddy? What do you hear? What do you say? 
I'm hoping that you'd say yes to some of these contract offers I've lined up for you. Big bucks, baby. Ace makes more when you make more. So go to the race shop and check them. I know, Ace. I know. You told me like hey. 10 different times. I get it. Ace, I get it. I, I understand. I understand. All right. What kind of truck offers do we have? Can we even hypothetically buy a modified team of any kind? No. No, we can't. So that's going to be a waste. All right, trucks. Let's uh, view the contracts. What do we have? Ooh. We got POV, Rossi, Team Bullseye. Ooh, Team, team Marmalade. That honestly looks and sounds ridiculous but the prestige is 60 percent so it's better than the the pov thing so if everything looks better so yeah everything looks better the the salary per race the contract history well <laughs> that was stupid all right team marmalade all right i guess we're being sponsored by system of a down maybe i went there honestly that's kind of perfect because i like system of a down Marmalade, it, get, yeah, <laughs> okay, we'll go with that. Signing bonus, $7,500, huh? The 180 Allstate, you know what, I'm, I'm worried because NASCAR 06 concerns, I'm just going to save the game, make sure that I don't, like, joining that team does not break the game so let me just save it first just to be safe i usually don't like saving in the middle of recording i usually do it after when i'm done with everything just so i know everything went through i don't usually like to do that so i'm taking a very big risk with this and i think i said brisk but i don't know it's been a, a very hectic 24 hours for me so I don't know. My English can't even. I'm getting. I'm, my eyes are bloodshot. I can't even factor in the concept of reality. But now let's go into the race shop. Now let's get our truck and get all that shit situated. So Team Marmalade, the 180 Allstate truck, the last truck I kind of expected to be associated with Marmalade. But you know what? There we go. Hopefully that was good. And our teammate is Wes Tucker. Hey Wes, Wesley Riddle. I wet hi. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I may just do Daytona, and then we'll probably, you know, wrap it up for today. So, I guess that's, you know, all that we'll do. Craft some trucks in blue. So, uh, or blue, what the f- It's, it's red. What is wrong with me? All right, well, uh, Daytona, uh, Daytona's gonna suck. Let's be honest. It restricted our place for whatever reason. We're just not gonna be fast. It just seems like a NASCAR 07 thing, so I'm not expecting any crazy things. I will put in the full setup. I'm going to look that up online. I don't know where to go for setup, so to, to Google. Ooh, of course it's Aaron Crocker. Congratulations, you made the next step towards the goal of reaching the top. Be careful. The trucks are a little tougher to handle and have more power. Do well. And top truck teams will be knocking on your door. Well, thank you. I like how they have Aaron Crocker, like, as, like, a, it's like, a, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, like a, like a, like a benchmark to hit. Like, I I don't know. I'm honestly kind of shocked. We're first? <laughs> like, I think we're gonna get the pole. Oh my god. I'm I'm shocked. I NASCAR 07 usually is pretty... That was eight... Was that eight tenths of a second faster? Oh boy, it's gonna be a very chill race then. Oh my god. Look at that. We got our first uh, sign autograph fan session thing. <laughs> God damn, I can't talk today. But yeah, sure, we'll do it. It should be... Alright, well, thank you. For... I like the background, too. Look look at that. That's cute. Alright, well... I mean, it should be pretty simple when we start off here. Wow. Oh my god, I messed up, like, right away. I... What? Stop. What is wrong with me? Good God, this is just the intro, and I've already, like, ruined it. What is wrong with me? That was... That was fucking, like, 30. How did we go through 30 already? It felt like 10. 
I did not feel like we we tried to go through 30. I don't know, but that was awful. That I'm not there today. I don't know what's wrong with me. So, um, car setup is from Mr. Smash Boy, the same person I used the setups for NASCAR 06. He made some for NASCAR 07, so really appreciate him uh, doing that on the on his channel way back when. So really the biggest change is the tire pressure, suspension, the front springs down to one. Uh, the gear ratio, everything's remained the same except for fourth gear. It was originally like an 84, 85, and now in here it's 80, so that's about it. So, um, I guess let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm amazed that qualifying went as well as it did, to be honest. Also, it's kind of cool to have more truck drivers in the field, I think, this, this year. At least NASCAR 07 had more truck drivers, I think. I don't, I don't know the, the numbers off the top of my head, but more better than NASCAR 08 on the PS3 and Xbox 360. Also, we have a traditionally awful start because it's just, it's just how it is at Research Place. We just can't get through the gears fast. So, bye bye, everyone in front of me. Let's hope I can run them down or something because that was that was really bad. Dude, god damn. Oh. oh my god, it's just lap one and I can't even do that right. I feel slow. Like, how do I get almost a second faster in qualifying? And in the race, I can't do anything. Like, what is this? Oh my god, stop. We're gonna be pinned this time or next time by it. This has been rough. Or maybe we don't have to pit. I, oh yeah, we're gonna have to pit. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're pinning. We're gonna be pinned this lap. It's. I mean, we kind of stalemated it here in sixth. I can't really catch them in front of me, and they were kind of there behind me until that little kerfuffle. But yeah, this this sucks. I I just I, this is kind of what I'm used to with NASCAR seven. Be their trigger place being like really really difficult especially with the starts like it just i mean it just killed me seems like i have enough adequate speed on my own to you know hold my my place but the starts just kill me i don't know what the hell that was in three but well i'm not seeing anybody pitting so i'm just gonna stay out then okay field i'll just all right i think i see some people pitting just how they were kind of turning to left on the back straight away there so yeah, I just want to keep this car at the bottom, trying to have it and give it a, get an opening on me. That was getting, like, actually loose. That was really weird. Alright. 70 miles an hour. First, like, actual pit stop of the career. I, just, I went 71. <laughs> we'll just take rights, and that'll be, like, a normal pit stop. I can't believe I did that. You fucking... well, that's our first pit stop, and we do have a five-second penalty, so that's going to kind of hurt us a little bit. It's... I can't believe I did that. I've just... What what is that? What what just happened there? That actually didn't hurt us too bad leaving Piro the way it did, but yeah, we're gonna have a horrible start, or at least an outlap. I mean, we're okay right now, but it's just we're gonna just like stop here eventually. But we may be able to cycle out in third. Ooh, maybe even second, or maybe even first. Well, holy shit! I um <laughs> wasn't expecting that to be honest. Wow, I'm I'm speechless. We have those two other, I guess, stragglers leaving pit road, so we should cycle out into lead, at least I hope so. Actually, it might not. I don't know if it's going to happen. I mean, I think we're going to be pretty close. It all just depends on how bad our tire wear is, because obviously it's yellow, but I don't know if it's going to get, like, stupid loose or anything like that, so that's another question. But we do have the block a little bit, so we do have that to worry about. Also, we are barely going to beat those trucks out of pit road, it seems like. I mean... <laughs> gonna be we're gonna be cutting it down the wire and I'm just I have to be stuck up here on the outside and it's not gonna be enough well shit all right well damn they got I would say they got lucky but our truck just really isn't you know, all there or especially when once we get to fourth gear the thing just stops so well we got white flag time and those two kind of pulled off a brilliant strategy of sorts because they're they're first and second okay Obviously, white flag time. We got to try to make a move. That was pretty simple enough to get the second. 
You gotta try to do some kind of fake up high and then go down low type of situation. Try to get by him. Or we can just go right to the inside. That works too. That works too. I mean, I thought he was gonna block a little more. Now we just gotta hope this truck can hang on through three and four because it seems like it likes to get loose off turn four, so. Oh boy. Got a little loose. I felt it. I felt it a little bit. Let's get to the corner. Perfect. Oh my god, no! No, 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 not like that. No, oh my god. <sighs> really? Marvin Sheath. <sighs> why? Why did, it, why did it have to play out like that? Well, that was... Our first truck start, and we get it. We get second in an insane photo finish. <laughs> wow! Eight hundred hero points. Got a top five. I don't know. I don't know what the hell that was. I was doing, but that looked like a mini stroke. But you know, I would have a stroke too after getting second at the, at Daytona. Two new phone calls. So that's interesting. Oh, gee. Don't forget the qu really Ace. Ace, I've been. Where were you in the Modified Series? Where were you at Daytona? I was first, like, the majority of the Modified Season in qual <laughs> See, that's just more proof Ace doesn't just watch the races. He just looks at the results and just, that's it. No. Matt Kansas, I don't want to do a showdown. I don't care. Oh, there's no voice thing? Well, that's upsetting. I thought I would hear something. Unless it was really short and I just didn't get to it quick enough. I don't know. Well, uh... I guess I'll do it for me in this part. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's unfortunate. I, don't remember. I mean, obviously after Daytona, we're going to be second in points. I have no idea if Marvin Chief is a competitive truck to worry about, but it's, it's Daytona, so. The real season begins at California, I think, so. We've got that to worry about in the next episode, if I, my memory serves me right, and it is, okay. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> let's wrap this part up. Big shout out to my tier 3 Patreon supporters at Down Rounds, Brother Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ronnie Lazar, and Dave on our Champ 15, Nask on Riverside.org, Billy Kiru, Drew, Joe in the Car, and Robert Dillon, Golfield 100, Denny Hamill, Ultimate Van, and Emilio Bebzer for a donation. Again, I can't thank you guys enough for your contribution and support to the channel. It means a lot and always goes a long ways with with everything, so I always just like to, to do this. And it's just, you know, I just really appreciate it. It, it means the world to me. I'll see you all next episode for I have no idea how many races we'll tackle, maybe four? I don't know. But obviously we got California, then I think it's Atlanta? It, oh, Atlanta, alright. Atlanta, then Martinsville? Oh my god! I, wow, my... See, this is around the point when I started watching the trucks like full-time in, in NASCAR, so I remember the schedule decently well. So, that's maybe why it just kind of like clicked into my, my old brain. So I'm kind of surprised. That was usually I'm kind of wrong with sometimes of, of the old schedule and when things are placed. But that was perfect. Wow. All right. Well, I'm not gonna press my luck. But either way, um, I'll see you all next episode. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.